Law enforcement officials scrambled on Thursday to locate Robert Arcard, who police say is wanted in connection with the shooting rampages in Lewiston, Maine, that killed at least 18 people and injured 13 more. Here is what we know about him so far. Authorities have identified Card, 40, of Bowdoin, Maine, as the suspect they are seeking after the mass killings in Lewiston, Maine, on Wednesday night. An arrest warrant has been issued for Card for eight counts of murder, according to Colonel William G. Ross, who leads the Maine State Police. Ross said that although 18 people were killed, as of Thursday morning officials had identified only eight of the victims, so eight counts of murder were cited in the arrest warrant. The arrest warrant is still sealed, according to the Maine State Police. Card has been serving in the Army Reserve as a petroleum supply specialist, according to his service record, which was released by the Army after the shooting. He has not served in any combat deployments since enlisting in December 2002. The University of Maine said Thursday that Card was an engineering technology student there from 2001 until 2004 but did not graduate. Law enforcement officials have found evidence indicating that the suspect's life began spiraling out of control over the summer, when his military reserve commanders became alarmed over statements he made targeting his own unit, according to a person familiar with investigators' findings so far. The person spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe an ongoing investigation. Card's commanders were so concerned about his comments that he was sent to a hospital, where he received roughly two weeks of inpatient psychiatric treatment, this person said. It is unclear whether any other consequences for Card resulted from that episode. Investigators suspect that the shooter used a .308 rifle to commit the attacks, two people familiar with the matter said, again speaking on the condition of anonymity to discuss information that has not been made public. Investigators have not yet found any indication that the purchase of the weapon was illegal, one of the people said. Both people familiar with the matter noted that the investigation is still in its early stages and that their understanding of events could change. Maine does not have a red flag law that would allow law enforcement officials to take weapons away from individuals who are viewed as posing a danger to themselves or others. Ross described Card as dangerous and warned amid the ongoing manhunt that he should not be approached. During a news briefing Thursday morning, Ross said that the investigation into the shooting rampages in Lewiston eventually led officials to a vehicle that was parked at a boat landing area in Lisbon, Maine. The vehicle's registration pointed to Card, Ross said. Officials otherwise did not say much about Card, beyond stressing that they were urgently trying to find him Thursday.